Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Hyperlink where we get the latest Star Citizen news as they drop. All right, so Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 um, J patch um, is uh, recently dropped into Evo Cardi and it's been leaked as usual. This one is um, the testing focus is pretty much the same, but there's a few notable changes that they um, specified in the patch notes. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to all my channel members and Patreon. Thank you guys once again. Also, we're still doing a giveaway for the Anvils and Trium. So if you're interested, the link is in the top right corner or in the description down below. All right. So um, in regards to the notable changes, right? So they mentioned here that it says um, EM and IR adjustments. So it says EM and IR adjustments to shield to support more accurate missiles. Overall strength of signals reduced and to be more consistent. Temporarily remove reputation requirements for the time trials for the testing in PTU. So that that makes sense. They want people to start testing the time trials. Okay. It also says updated bed logout uh, text to display when it is blocked instead of removing the text completely. Added support for only allowing the Hall A cargo transaction when it is in expanded state. Inventory and price polish pass on illegal stolen cargo. I believe these these uh, are going to be able to illegal cargo is going to be sold at Grimhex. I believe I think that's where that's going to be. Polished uh, visual polish tweaks to the salvage beam effect to prevent clipping through geom geometry. I believe it says here. So, um, in regards to ships and vehicles, the Drake Vulture um, has has had a little bit of a um, polish as well. It says adjusted ladder transaction so that a player cannot trans interact with the top of the ladder while on the ground, decreasing the quantum drive component housing animation speed also the cutter retro the drake cutter re retro uh, thruster rework so the vehicle can hold itself up in veto mode on the nose okay so there's also been some core tech updates which is network performance optimization gen 12 rendering performance optimization and commodity kiosk performance polish right in addition to this they made a lot of bug fixes it's a lot i'm not going to read all of them to you to bore you but also there's also other news here so it looks like they made some com they committed all of the features that they mentioned on the roadmap for 3.18 and that is awesome so like i said before they're getting more and more confident with this patch i'm happy that they're finally everything everything on the list including PES including Gen 12 rendering. I'm talking like uh, the vultures, hall, scra hall scraping, everything. Everything has been committed and that is great news. As I said before, the patch seems like it's going well and this is just a testament to it. I believe we may hit, we may see a, P, um, a wider PTU release, a wave one, probably um, if not this week, but probably early next week. Alright, I have some more leaks in this video right here. I'll see you there. 